Her son was hardly a year old when Allahabad-based Shweta Gupta started losing her vision. A medical reaction a few years back had destroyed the ocular surface of her eye and slowly, as cataract formed in them, her days were restricted to dark rooms. She is one of the thousands of patients who have been given the gift of sight by Shankara Netralaya, one of the leading ophthalmic institutions in the world that offers hope to millions on the verge of imminent blindness in India. India, the world's biggest democracy, is home to the largest number of the blind and visually affected people in the world. While a growing population of the elderly presents challenges of increasing cataract blindness, poverty, malnutrition and a large rural population underserved by primary health care, makes other eye diseases rampant in both children and adults, affecting lives and disrupting livelihoods. 30 years back in 1978, one of India's foremost vitreoretinal surgeons, Dr. S. S. Badrinath, realized that India's struggle against blindness needed a visionary approach where quality eye care was supported by ophthalmic research and training of a large cadre of eye care personnel. He thus set up Shankaranetralaya at Chennai in Tamil Nadu, South India, a modern temple of the eye that offers comprehensive and quality eye care to all sections of society, rich or poor, irrespective of their paying power. An institution of vision that has combined cutting-edge ophthalmic research in fields like nanotechnology, stem cells, molecular biology, among many others, to treat various eye disorders from simple refractive error to complicated retinal diseases, corneal blindness and ocular surface disorders, many of which were till recently untreatable in India. First of all, MMG was done, MMG operation was done, in which I removed the lips from the lips and the eyes of the eyes of the eyes. My eyes of the eyes of the eyes were rough due to the dryness of the eyes of the eyes. तो उसको स्मूथ और चिकना करने के लिए आँख के अंदर लगाया इसे MMG कहते हैं शायद और उसी समय एक यहाँ पर एक छेद होता है आँख के पास जिससे आँखों का मॉइस्चर नाक के थ्रू निकल जाता है तो वो आँखों में बना रहे उसके लिए पंक्टल कॉट्रिया का छेद होता है वो उसे बंद बंद करना कहते हैं तो उसी समय दो an institute that trains eye care professionals to impart quality treatment to the visually impaired brothers and sisters. बच्ची देख पा रही है ये सब संकरी नेत्राले की वजह से है हम लोग तो बड़ा हताश हो गए थे लेकिन यहाँ का आके दिशा जो है बदल गई है लोग सोचा कि अच्छा सब होगा Shankara Netralaya is a unique private institution that under the Medical Research Foundation works with four main objectives patient care community services, education, and research. Its high quality consciousness has ensured that every milestone achieved by the institution is a milestone in ophthalmology for India. With a patient base of over 2 million, Shankara Netralaya was the first charitable eye hospital in Asia to receive the ISO 9000 certificate in 1997. As an institute set up in the true Gandhian spirit of serving society, Shankara Netralaya is committed to the poor and offers free treatment to all urban and rural poor whose monthly salary is less than 70 US dollars. With age-related cataract being one of the leading causes of blindness in India, it conducts around 10,000 free cataract surgeries every year in a separate Jaslok Community Ophthalmic Center dedicated to treating the poor. Every week, the institution conducts pre-screening camps in remote villages and districts of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh with local NGOs to screen patients suffering from cataract. These patients are then brought to its base hospital in Chennai for their free surgeries. 
Sankara Netralaya provides the same quality of treatment and surgeries to its free patients as it does to its paying patients. All patients in the Jaslok Community Center are provided free food, given free medicines and taken back home by the hospital following their surgeries. The doctors are also sent for the post-operative visits and the patients are brought in at the final visit on 45 days for their glass check. We did a check of 2000 surgeries done in the community section by the trainees and we found that more than 92% of the patients had got back 6-9 or better vision which is at par with the WHO standards. At Shankaranetralaya, thus, serving the poor is a philosophy that the institute lives by. To bring modern medicine to the rural countryside, Shankaranetralaya joined hands with the Indian Space Research Organization to start the pioneering teleophthalmology project in the year 2003. Its teleophthalmology vans, fitted with equipments for examining and imaging the eye and VSAT communication facilities, hold camps in the villages of states like Karnataka and Tamil Nadu every month to screen the people for eye diseases. Images of complicated disorders are hooked up via the satellite to the main hospital where experts diagnose the disease and prescribe treatment. With refractive error being the second leading cause of visual handicap in the country, Shankara Netralaya, with support from Essilor India and the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation, started the mobile refraction vans that tour villages, offering free eye checkup and dispensing glasses on the spot to villagers, thus saving them precious money and time from travelling to cities for primary eye care diagnosis. Today, its mobile refraction vans tour the villages in states like Karnataka, Maharashtra, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu. Shankaranetralaya's success in scaling new heights as an institution with a vision is due to a strong support from society, both national and international, that has donated to its various initiatives. The goal for which Netrale was conceived, was born to provide an international quality eye care at a very affordable cost. In order to keep the cost tariff very minimal, affordable to a middle class family, Netrale, whenever they build the institution, a new complex, do not raise the tariff but make an honest and humble appeal to society. Every consultant room, every operation theater, every block of building, and every campus is named after a donor who has contributed to the cause of Shankaranetralaya. While the common man has supported free eye surgeries with a donation of a few hundred dollars, a renowned personality like Nani Palkiwala has donated his entire life savings and property to the institution. And when I come to, a, to an institution like this, it replenishes my face in the future of India. We feel that I'm in the midst of human beings who are human and who will one day make this country great by their dedication, by their sense of discipline and by their service to their fellow men. The legendary singer M.S. Subbalakshmi has bequeathed all royalties from her songs of Bharati, Surdas and Shankarastuti to this eye hospital. Thanks to the SN Om Trust, whose patrons have conducted numerous fundraising programs, Shankaranetralaya has been able to conduct more than 3,000 cataract surgeries and more than 1,000 complicated eye surgeries entirely free for the poor in the year 2009. The institution was privileged to honor Mr. S. V. Acharya of the SN Om Trust with the Shankara Ratna Award in 2007. With 60% of its paying patients cross-subsidizing the 40% free patients, Shankara Netralaya's internal revenues are largely spent on patient care. 
12% of its resources come through donations and societal support. Recently, it set up the 10-story Kamal Nayan Bajaj Institute for Research in Vision and Ophthalmology with a donation from the Bajaj Group of Companies. The Elite School of Optometry, one of the leading institutes of optometry in India, was set up on land donated by Dr. V. G. Appukuti, one of the earliest doctors who worked in Shankaranetralaya. Its impeccable financial credibility, following rigorous external and internal audit, has caused it to have long-standing associations with leading funding agencies like the Ratan Tata Trust, the Lions International and Chennai Willingdon Corporate Foundation that have supported numerous Shankaranetralaya projects. Shankaranetralaya has received innumerable accolades for its integrity and commitment to serve the nation. Shankaranetralaya picked up the Corporate Citizen of the Year Award. It's been my privilege to be associated with a number of functions organized by Shankaranetralaya. The work done by Dr. Badrinath and his dedicated team over the last 30 years, not simply in practicing ophthalmology, but in building an institution like Shankaranetralaya, deserves to be written in letters of gold. When I started coming here for my treatment, I could find that those who have not been able to afford treatment, Netralaya is giving them free treatment. I thought this is the best institute where I can donate a part of my annual income. The percentage is not fixed. I decided, I mean, I should give and after donating, it gives me enormous amount of satisfaction. If my money is utilized in the best cause for the human being. That's the reason I donate here. Using societal support to spread its quality eye care treatment and training to different parts of India, the institute recently set up hospitals in Kolkata and Bangalore at an outlay of around 652,000 US dollars. We, of course, have heard of Dr. Badrinath, but then actually experiencing Netralaya, meeting uh, the uh, uh, doctors and the staff and seeing the tremendous uh, the professional way in which they go about um, handling patients uh, that gave us a lot of uh, encouragement that any donation given would be very well spent and very wisely uh, spent. Shankaranetralaya has ambitious plans to increase its free cataract surgeries for the poor through another hospital set up in Rameshwaram, some 500 kilometers away from Chennai. The first phase, the Corpus Fund for performing surgery on the poor patients, 11 crores, we have set aside. This will help us in performing surgery, but total amount which we need for this, the number of surgeries which we do in the institution is almost 36 crores, and we look forward to support from the community at large. India's crusade against blindness includes training a large number of eye care professionals right from dispensing managers to cataract surgeons to offer quality treatment to the country. Sankara Netralaya proposes to start the SN Academy to provide for training in over 50 courses to students in the field of eye care, research and hospital administration. The Technology Driven Institute will also offer courses through e-learning for ophthalmic professionals through the SN Academy. To add strategic value to ophthalmic care, this pioneering eye hospital has developed the electronic medical record system. It now proposes to start the National Medical Record System using the National Knowledge Network to make its records available to all ophthalmologists across the country. In the field of research, Shankaranetralaya has ambitions to set up a proteomics workstation to play an important role in the development of the medicine of the future. We shall continue as a team. All the employees here will function to bring in a 
good name and a good reputation and a glory for the institution, not only for the institution, but glory for India by reducing the avoidable blindness and also finding out ways and means of curing the diseases for which at the present time we have no cure. We need your support in our endeavors and I'm sure, I'm very confident that all of you will raise up to the occasion. Namaste and welcome to the program for the evening. First, out of the uh, big list of people we were expecting, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and making uh, this particular program a very really important program. We value your presence. Thank you so much for that. First and foremost, Shankar Netralaya. This is an organization that has actually been amazing me and a lot of people in my family are closely associated to that as well. I have a cousin who works for Shankar Netralaya. It is so close to many people's hearts. It does things that people normally do not go around asking for. It is an organization that has actually set the bar so up high. So we are honored to be in the presence of Dr. Raja Raman who is actually here with us and will be talking to all of us regarding this particular program and to kick off the whole evening's uh, program i'd like to invite mrs vanita to set the bar so up high so thank you vignesh <coughs> जय जय देव गणेश जय जय देव गणेश जय जय देव गणेश जय जय देव गणेश शंकर सुवन पार्वती नंदन शंकर सुवन पार्वती नंदन श्री करो प्रभु करुणानंदन श्री करो प्रभु करुणानंदन भक्त तुम्हारे द्वार पे आयो भक्त तुम्हारे 
मन में करो प्रवेश मन में करो प्रवेश जय जय देव गणेश जय जय देव गणेश सकल लोक के हो सुख करता सकल लोक के हो सुख करता बुद्धि विधाता अम्बित तनया बुद्धि विधाता अम्बित तनया रणत भवर से आओ गजानन रणत भवर से आओ गजानन सबके कष्ट हरो सबके कष्ट हरो जय जय देव गणेश जय जय देव गणेश थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच वनिता I think Ganesh is somewhere sitting in the audience now. Thank you for the excellent rendition. Um, I'd like to take a moment and thank our media partners, 8K Radio. 8K Radio is a big source of entertainment for many people who actually have the mundane traveling from work to the home, home to work. That is the one thing that takes us back to the same feeling we have when we listen to radio back in India. So I'd like to thank 8K Radio for promoting this awesome program and I would also like to put a special mention that they have been streaming the small clip that explains about this particular program several times on 8K Radio. If you are not listening to 8K Radio Tamil or Telugu, please start listening to it. They have a good uh, array of songs as well. I would also like to thank uh, one more partner and a hello NRI um, uh, newspaper. They have also Mr. Sikandar Vedi from that particular newspaper is here and Jitender Vedi. Mr. Jitender Bedi. I'm so sorry that I actually misspelled your name. Um, thank you so much for uh, informing the other half of the population who are, who are reading newspapers about our program. Thank you so much for that. I'd like to request uh, Vanita to present the welcome address. Thank you, Vignesh. Good evening, everyone. I'm Vanita Achar, I'm grand niece of Shankar Netralia founder, living legend Dr. S. S. Badrinath. I'm a longtime supporter of Shankar Netralia. Uh, firstly, I would like to express sincere gratitude to the Lemon Temple, its president, for allowing this event to take place. I would also like to introduce our major sponsor for this evening, 8K Radio, as Vignesh mentioned, our media partner who has been promoting the event for the past two weeks. Uh, I hope some of you have heard the promotion. I'm fully aware you've all come here to enjoy Mrs. Meenu Pashupati concert um, and at the same time support the worthy, worthy cause of Shankar Netralia. Therefore, I will be brief. On behalf of Shankar Netralia, let me extend a warm welcome to you for all for coming and supporting Netralia. On behalf of Netralia and thousands of indigent patients who are the real beneficiaries of your donation, I want to express our gratitude to you all. Since most of you are long-time donors, I will keep the introduction short. To consolidate Netralia's noble work for the past four decades in four minutes is a tall feat. For the benefit of new attendees, let me just say a few words. Shankar Netralia was founded by Padma Bhushan, Dr. S.S. Badrinath. Yeah, I'll just hold it. In 1978, thank you on a modest scale. He was awarded living legend title by the President of India for his outstanding community service and has won many national and international awards for excellence. The institution is recognized as the number one ophthalmic center in India with major operations in Chennai, Kolkata, Tirupati, Rameshwaram and Sri City in Andhra Pradesh. Plans are in progress for a hospital in Maharashtra 
and SN Academy University in Sri City, Andhra Pradesh. Numerous patients from all over India are treated with 50% of consultations and 35% of surgeries performed free of cost to the patients. The same quality of care is provided for both paying and non-paying patients. Netralia also performs several eye camps to identify and treat patients in the rural areas. They have Mobile Eye Surgical Unit, or MESU, an operation theater on wheels which consists of two buses serving as a surgical unit. The MESU unit goes out to even the most inaccessible villages and performs surgeries in excellent hygienic conditions. This is a landmark Netralia innovation to reach the unreached. In addition, qualified ophthalmic professionals are provided optometric and ophthalmic education. There is also a big focus on India-centric research to eliminate potential diseases that affect those mainly in those geographic locations. In the US, Shankar Netralia Ophthalmic Mission Trust was established in 1988 with the sole objective of raising awareness and funds for Netralia. With less, just less than 1% of administrative expenses, almost all of your contribution is used for the primary mission of Netralia. Remember, a single $65 contribution will enable Netralia to perform a cataract surgery on a poor patient. For more information, kindly refer to the website um, snomtrust.org or call, us, call our toll-free number 855-4-NETHRA. Again, we would like to welcome you to our concert today and thank you for supporting Netralia. God bless you all. Thank you, Vanita. So now, I'd like to introduce the key people for the evening. It is actually an honor. As and when I, have, I was identified as the MC for this program, I started uh, asking around, finding out, okay, can you please send me your bio? And as and when the bio started coming in, I think I have my bucket list for the rest of my life. I think I need to do a lot more to look up to all these people. I'd like to start off with a person who actually was introduced to me just over a year ago and has become a very, very important person in my life. She has actually turned around the mundane life that I was living by making sure that I have opportunities to learn singing and also sing whenever possible. Thank you so much. Yes, I am talking about Mrs. Meenu Pasupati. She is... Yes. Mrs. Meenu Pasupati, she is the Artistic Director of Akshaya Music Academy in Schaumburg, Illinois. She has been teaching vocal music to students for all ages for the past two decades and one of her students is sitting in the front row. He is still a child by heart. And Mrs. Meenu Pasupati started her initial vocal training from Srimati Leelavati Venkatachar at a very tender age. You will see how great she is. Oh, that's why I'm specifically mentioning that a tender age. And she continued her advanced uh, training from Srimati Vijaya Nagarajan and Chitraveena Sri Ganesh Sudarshan. With a wonderful, versatile voice, Minu has performed concerts in across all South Indian genres, classical, light classical, devotional, folk, and film music. Yes, the last time she visited India, just on a whim, she actually went and met somebody and has sung in a movie. Okay, not a lot of people get to do that. She is a gifted artist. She can sing in multiple voices, male, female, baby, and Nadaswara. She is said to have inherited, yes. And I think she has inherited this versatile voice, and everybody will agree, from her grandfather, Vikitam Sri Ramaswami Ayer. Sri Ramaswami Ayer was entitled as Bikita Kavi by the Tanjur Maharaja. That's a great thing. I, I don't even know the Tanjur Maharaja. Okay. Minu has given concerts across South India and all major states of the USA. She has had the honor of sharing the stage with legends such as Sri S.P. Balas Brahmanyam, Srimati P. Sushila, Srimati K.S. Chitra, Selvi Swarnalata, Sri S.N. Surender, and many more Sini playback singers. She knows absolutely everybody in that particular uh, part of the world. So you have seen her, seen her somewhere, right? Yes. You have seen her somewhere in the media. You have seen her somewhere. Where, where do we remember her from? She is the winner of the Bajaj Colgate Saptaswarangal in Sun TV, Chennai for the year 1997. She is also the proud recipient of the Miss Voice Award 
from Bharat Sangeet Utsav, Michigan for the year 2012. Meenu did her, uh, yeah. Meenu did her master's degree in Indian Carnatic classical music at the University of Madras, India. Presently, she is the director of South Asian Music Ensemble, SAME, at the University of Chicago, Hyde Park, Illinois. I think I have six more pages of this. Minu did this, Minu did that. But she did one more thing, which we are so happy for. And I'm going to jump on to Akshaya. Akshaya Kannan has been introduced to Carnatic classical vocal music at a very young age by her mother, Srimati Minu Pasupati. Akshaya also plays the keyboard and how she plays it phenomenally, Indian and Western violin. She has successfully completed Salangai Puja in Indian classical dance, Bharatanatyam, under the exemplary training of Guru Srimati Vidya Babu. Uh, she is the disciple of uh, Varvur Sri Kunjidapadam Pillai. Akshaya has given several performances in vocal, violin, Bharatanatyam, Bollywood dance, and keyboard for various organizations in and around Chicago. I have been a proud participant of several of those programs. She is one of the core team members of the Indian music band called as AIME AIM. The music band consists of all youth artists who perform for organizations to help raise funds for the less fortunate people. I think she deserves an applause for that. Right? I would rather sit on a video game, right? Even at this age, I would rather sit on a video game rather than participate in things like this. I think she deserves a big uh, applause for that. Akshaya is one of the directors of Solace Chicago SOCH, SOCH, a non-profit organization in Rolling Meadows. She is presently a sophomore at UIUC, majoring in chemistry and Spanish. Hola. She also enjoys jewelry making, craft making during her leisure time. Now, now, I'd like to shift over to another person who actually has been introduced recently. He just awed me with all the information that has been provided. Rishabh Ranganathan. He comes from a very strong musical lineage, being a fourth generation descendant of Marutta Sorry, Marudu Vakudi Sri Rajagopal Iyer. He is a disciple of Sri Akella Mallikarjuna Sharma and Parur MS Anantakrishnan. He is also trained in Western classical violin and Carnatic vocal music. As usual, he has won several awards and titles including the Cleveland Concert Competition, Carnatic Music Idol USA, I only know the American Idol, I'm sorry, a Bharati and Rising Star Award among others. He has performed over 150 violin solo and violin accompaniment concerts in India and USA. He, has, he was chosen as an Indian Raga Fellow in 2015. He has been featured in many TV channels and media outlets such as the Times of India, the Hindu, New Indian Express, Trinity Mirror, among others. And he is an incoming freshman at the Hinsdale Central High School in fall 2018. I think that school is going to rock this year because he is over there. Now, Kumaran. Sivaganga Vishwakumaran is a disciple of Padma Vibhushan awardee, Sangeeta Kalanidhi, Mridangam legend, Dr. Umayal Puram K. Sivaraman. He had his Mridangam Marangetram in Chennai in 2013, accompanying Vidwan Sikkal C. Gurucharan. He was initially introduced to the Sivaraman Bani by Sri Vinod Sitaraman. A very important information. Vishwak is the proud grandson of the great South Indian veteran of Tamil movies and stage plays, Kathadi Sri S. Ramamurthy. He has accompanied many popular Vidwans and Vidushis in India and all over North America and he is going to awe everybody as usual. Thank you so much for being here and the first song is Sada Shiva Kumara in praise of Lord Ganesha, Vigna Vinayaka, composed by Sri Papanasam Shivan, set to Sudha Saveri Ragam Adi Dalam. Pere, 
அங்கு சிந்தூரமும் அஞ்சுகரமும் அங்குச பாசமும் மூன்று கண்ணும் மும்மதச்சுவடும் சதா சிவகுமா 